So the novel I read was called The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, and I named my talk The Curious Mind of Christopher, which will make sense a little in a bit once I kind of start explaining what it's about. Um, so the, the book was about a boy named Christopher, who's a teenager, and he struggles with autism, and he lives with his dad, and his dad told him his mother was dead. But basically, he struggles a lot with um, understanding other people's feelings. He doesn't get along well with other people. He likes to be alone. And his way of thinking is a lot different than the average person. He, he goes to a special school for people with disabilities. And he has a mentor named Sibian. Um, and she basically asks him to write a book, because he's really into reading. And he can't think of one he wants to write. Also, he's really good at like math and science. He is genius with math. He can answer like huge multiplication questions without a calculator. He's really smart with that. So he likes to basically go out in the middle of the night and walk around by himself because he loves being alone and he likes to pretend that he's like the only person in the world. And one night he comes across a dog and it has a pitchfork in it. Um, so basically he decides that he wants to write a mystery novel and he decides that writing it about the dog, figuring out who killed it would be the best thing he can do. So he starts going on a mission to find out who kills it. Um, he figures out that the dog who was killed was his neighbor, Miss Shears, and basically he starts going door to door, asking questions and giving interviews, and he starts writing a book about it. And the book he's writing is the book that we're reading, so it's all from his point of view. And it's hard to figure out really what's going on unless you really listen closely to what other people are saying to him because the way things come into his mind, it's so much different than like the average person because of his autism. So basically his dad gets mad that he's bothering all the neighbors, asking questions and tells him to stop writing the book, but he keeps doing it anyways because it's his assignment and he wants to figure out who killed Wellington, the dog. So his father finds out he continued writing it and takes it and hides it. So one day when his dad's at work, he goes through his dad's room looking for it and he finds a bunch of letters, and there are like so many, like a hundred of them. And he sees that they're all from his mom, and some of them are addressed from recently. And he figures out that his mom wasn't dead, and that basically his mom was having an affair with their neighbor, Mr. Shears, the wife of the dog who's dead. And um, his dad comes home and finds him like freaked out on the floor, like his ear, his hands over his ears, and he like can't handle all the new information he got. And um, his dad admits that he lied to him about his mom being dead and that he didn't want to admit that his mom left him because of the affair. Um, and basically, Christopher, that's a huge thing for him. Trust is such a huge thing. So he freaks out and like leaves and runs away. And so he decides to go find his mom. And he has to take a train to get there. He's able to get the address from the letters. And he has to take a train, which he, this is all so much for him. He's not used to talking to people. It's so hard. Um, so he embarks on a huge mission to find his mom. And um, they, he finally does find her, and she didn't realize all along that he thought she was dead. He, she just thought he was um, ignoring her and mad at her. But um, so she, he moves in with that, her, and they get an apartment. And um, his life gets back to normal. He refuses to see his dad. And um, a huge thing for him also is he takes an A level at math. Like no one thought he could do it because of his autism, but he ends up getting, um, he ends up studying for that and working on it. Um, and his, he starts visiting his dad and his relationships improve. And he basically overcomes um, a lot of what he was scared of on his journey. Um, like taking the train, talking to people, it was all so hard for him and he overcomes it. And he ends up actually getting an A on his A level, which allows him to go to a university, which is huge for him. No one thought he could, like, since he had autism, they couldn't talk to him. He couldn't talk to anyone. So he um, overcame what other people thought of him. And basically, a lot of the themes in the novel were independence, because he needed to mm -hmm. lean on his dad. Um, he, he couldn't really do anything on his own until he embarked on the journey and passed that. And he really... Um, there was the theme of self versus self because so much of his struggles were like in his head and he had to overcome that. There weren't a lot of external obstacles, but basically all of them were in his head that he overcame. And he got a lot better with communicating with the outside world because that's something, a life skill he needed to get on with the world. And he improved on that so much. 
Um, so, um, also, for the end of this, tied in together, his father also admitted he was the one who killed Wellington because he was angry at the neighbor for the affair. And the, the search, the murder investigation, represented the search for the truth about his parents.